this mission, one of the neatest things about the spacewalks is when you're in the sun, it's about plus 100, 250 degrees. So it's really hot. And so we have thermal covers, we protect all our equipment, metal gets really hot to touch. But as soon as that equipment goes into the shade, either the sun sets or you block it, or it's just shaded by space station, it goes to minus 250 degrees. So the coldness of space. So literally, you could have your hand at 250, plus 250 here, put it in shade, it's at minus 250. So that's what makes our spacesuits so amazing. They can protect us and keep us comfortable in those radical temperature changes. The typical cruising speed for a Concorde was Mach 2.04, but flying at this speed generated a huge amount of heat. This was partly due to the friction of the air passing over the surface of the aircraft. With supersonic aircraft, not all the air can move out of the way fast enough. This compresses the air and creates an area of high pressure in front of the nose, which heats up the plane. At full speed, the nose would get as hot as 127 degrees, with the fuselage and the wings exceeding 90 degrees. This would cause the aircraft to visibly expand by around 30 millimeters. Inside the cockpit, you could see this happening and a gap would open up between the flight engineer's console and the bulkhead. On some of the retired planes, you can actually see a cap that was placed in the gap on the final flight, becoming trapped once the metal shrank again. This expansion is a problem in all supersonic planes. So forget about the supersonic speeds, because there's no friction in the vacuum of space. But the astronaut said that there was extreme temperatures from 250 positive to 250 degree minus. So that has some serious expansion issues. So in the shade, 250 degrees minus, and in the sun, 250 degrees, a 500 degree difference in temperature. Can you imagine the expansion of the metals and the different metals and how all metals expand at different rates and diff different amounts. Now, how can this thing possibly stay together? And what I know about metals is that the fatigue that metals get from being heated and cooled become really brittle. This thing's been flying for 20 years, it's bollocks.